start the new chapter that we put into the syllabus. That is the chapter four. That is about the multi or the factors and its multiples. Now we have to learn the last class. We already to solve some review exercise questions. Now today we have to make the new one. That is the first step where we start the new one. That is test of divisibility. Now what is the test of divisibility? That this number, that which number. Are it divisible by the particular number that we have to know? So before we start the exercise, we have to first know about some rules. There, what are rules? The first one is the divisible that the divisibility of by two by two. See for what the rules you have to remember that at the One space, only which number? Which digits are there? Zero, two, four, six, and eight. If these digits are being present, then this number, this uh, these digits, if if present, then. This num this number in that at the end of which digits that is the last digit is given at the end of the digits if the zero two four six eight between the any one of them if it present that and this number should be this uh, number it should be this number divisible. divisible by two okay so this is the first rule. That at the a at the ones place that it after the digits at the ones place if the zero two four six and eight between them if any number is being present that time this digit it should be divisible by the two. Now so the second rule. What is the second one? That divisible by three. What is the rule? By three. That the if the sum of the digits are divisible by three. If the sum. So you have to write here. Say the second one. That is a divisible by three. How you can understand which number it can divisible by three? That if the sum of the digits are divisible by three, then the number. Is divisible by three also. So this one is a second rule. I give one example. That example suppose you have given seven, two, nine. These three digits. Now the sum of the two digits. Sum of the three digits means you have to add it. So seven plus two plus nine. So equal to seven plus two is nine. Nine plus nine is the eighteen. So eighteen it can divide with the three. So it being six. So we can this number it can divisible by the three. So again you have to see the next one. There is the third. That the fourth one. That divisible by four. How you can understand that which number divisible by four? If the last two digit. If the last two digit. Like uh, at ones and ten place are divisible by that the divisible by four. Then this number is divisible. By four, okay. So what is the things? If the last two digit, last two digit means which two digits are present or they present in at the one portion, another one in the ten portion. So these two digits are it at where it's it, it can divisible by the four. That time this number it should be divisible by the four also. Now here you can see the last two digit. You can I give one example. That is the. Seven five eight four six zero. Now see here. What is the last two digit? There is a zero and six. 
Now here if it divisible or divisible by the four or not. Now sixteen divide four, so it will be fifteen. So it can divisible. So this number is divisible by the four. Now see the next one. That with how we understand that the digit is divisible by the five. By five, how you understand? That is the first. That if the number it end with the zero or five, if the number end with zero and five, that time the number is divisible. By five, okay. So suppose I will give you that example that four hundred fifty. Now see here, this is a four hundred fifty, so it can be divisible four five zero. If we divide with the five, that time ninety, so it can be divisible. So by this way, you can understand. Now see the second one that the number six. That how we understand that which number that divisible by the six. So these all the rules are very important. So you have to keep in your minds that by the six, I have to write down it also. That if the number is divisible by the two, if the number are divisible by the two and three. If the number is divisible by the two and three, then this number is divisible by the six. By which way, two, three, both. Okay. So see here, I give one example. That is a four, two, seven, two. Now you can understand here the last is two, so this number easily can divisible by the two. Now how it can divisible by the three? So you have to add it. These are the numbers. Four plus two plus seven plus two. Now four plus two six, six plus one thirteen, thirteen plus two fifteen. Now fifteen is divisible by three, so it's in five. So this number it can by the six also it can possible to divisible. Now see the next one that by the eight. That if the last three digits, last three digits of the number. Are divisible with eight. If the last three digits of any number, if it divisible with the eight, then this number is divisible with the eight only. I give one example that four, three, seven, five, six, eight. Now what is the last three digit? This three, five hundred sixty-eight. Now if we divide five hundred sixty-eight by eight, we'll get seventy-one. So this number it should be divisible with the eight. Now see the another one. That which number is divisible with the nine? How we can understand that which number is divisible with the nine? So by the nine. That sum of the digits are like the number three only. The digits are divisible. By nine, then the number also divisible with nine. Okay, so what are the sums of this number? The example is the seven hundred eighty-three. Now we add it: seven plus eight, fifteen. Fifteen plus eight. Seven plus eight, fifteen. Fifteen plus three is the eighteen. Divide with the nine is the two. So this number it can divisible with the two. So these are the rules that we have to be remember. Whenever we have to going to solve the maths of the chance of divisibility, you also remember these all the rules. Then what are the rules? That we fast that the if any number by the two, by the three, by the four, by the six, by the eight and nine. If you able to remember it, then when we start the exercise, it can be easier for you. Then you have to be solved. Okay, so you have to write down in your copy and try to learn it. We have to here in the next class we start the exercise. Thank you.